the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The glory of God. Let us join in singing the hymn, God of my past.
God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. For the glory of God, let us join in singing the hymn, All Creatures are of our God and King. And with us sing Alleluia, Alleluia Thou born in sun with God and me Thou silver moon is of a king Oh, praise Him, oh, praise Him
follows second order of worship adoration of the trinity adoration of the trinity holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory glory be to you o lord most high blessed he who has come and the coming in name of the lord hosanna in the highest holy are you o god holy are you o god holy are you o almighty holy are you o almighty holy are you o immortal holy are you o immortal o lord our redeemer who was crucified for us have mercy upon us o lord our redeemer who was crucified for us have mercy upon us o lord holy spirit have mercy upon us o lord holy spirit have mercy upon us o lord accept our prayers and praises and have mercy upon us o lord have mercy compassion and mercy upon us let us confess our sins <coughs> If we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he who is faithful and just will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god has come near repent and believe in the good news for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses but we have one who is in every respect has been tested as we are yet without sin let us kneel and examine ourselves in silence let us remember our past let us remember the time of weakness the time of our problems and also our reaction to the situation let us humbly confess our sins to the lord god almighty let us say the prayer together almighty and most merciful god we have wandered and strayed from your ways like lost sheep we have followed too much the devices and desires of our hearts we have offended against our holy laws we have left undone those things which we should have done and we have done those things which we should not have done and there is no health in us but you o lord have mercy upon us miserable offenders spare them o god who confess their faults restore them and are penitent according to your promises declared to human kind in jesus christ our lord and grant o merciful god for his sake that we may hereafter live a godly righteous and just life to the glory of your holy name Almighty and merciful Lord, grant us pardon and remission for all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us say the prayer together. God, our Creator, we thank you for the awesome and innumerable gifts of creation. We thank you, magnify your holy name along with the creation that glorifies you. you have called us to be <coughs> faithful stewards of your creation but we have filled in our responsibility towards you and the creation purge us from all evil and enable us to be good and faithful creation makes us sensible to live in tune with the nature ke enable us to experience the grandeur of your creation in jesus name who lives and reigns with you and the holy spirit one god now and forever amen listen to the first reading from the old testament the 
first lesson is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verses 22 to 31. Book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verses 22 to 31. I wisdom was with the Lord when he began his work, long before he made everything else. I was created in the very beginning, even before the world began. I was born before there were oceans, or springs overflowing with water before the hill were there, before the mountains were put in place, God had not made the earth or fields, not even the first dust of the earth. I was there when God put the skies in place, when he stretched the horizon over oceans, when he made the clouds above and put the deep underground springs in place. I was there when he ordered the sea not to go beyond the borders he had set. I was there when he laid the earth's foundation. I was like a child by his side. I was delighted every day enjoying his presence all the time, enjoying the whole world and delighted with all its people. Here it is the reading. Praise be to thee, O Christ. In the glory of God, let us join in singing the hymn for the beauty of the earth. <laughs> Second lesson is taken from Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 to 8. Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 to 8. 
Then I saw a new heaven and new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared, and there was no sea anymore. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It was prepared like a bride dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now God's presence is with people, and he will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their heart, their eyes, and there will be no more death, sadness, crying, or pain, because all the old ways are gone. The one who was sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this because these words are the true and can be trusted. The one on the throne said to, my, said to me, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give free water from the springs of the water of life to anyone who is thirsty. Those who win the victory will receive this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. But cowards, those who refuse to believe, who do evil things, who kill, who sin sexually, who do evil magic, who worship idols, and who tell lies, all this will have a place in the lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. Here ends the reading. <coughs> the glory of God, let us join in singing the hymn, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Who has made all things well? 
Listen to the gospel reading, gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 20 to 25. The third reading is taken from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 22, uh, chapter 8, verses from 22 to 26. Jesus calms the storm. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and set out. As they sailed, he fell asleep. A squall came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Where is your faith? asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, <coughs> they asked one another, Who is this who commands even the wind and the waters? And they obey him. Here ends the reading. Praise, Praise be to, to thee, O Christ. Christ. The glory of God. And as a preparation, we'll sing the hymn, Master, speak thy servant here. Earth. <laughs> the words of my mouth, meditations of our hearts. Be acceptable in thy sight, O rock and our Redeemer. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today for our meditation, <coughs> the topic chosen for us is Creation Proclaims Glory of God. Creation Proclaims Glory of God or Environment Sunday. Yes, the passages which were read to us and the hymns we meditated just now are part of explaining God's glory and God's creation. Some days back I was watching a TV program which was on Discovery where it was very clearly mentioned that there are some mountains in the oceans which are higher than Mount Everest. There are some mountains under the sea which are higher than or taller than the Mount Everest. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, you can imagine, we are glorifying things which are above the earth, which we see. Where are, there are things in creation we are not able to see, but the reality is they are higher than what we see around. So, the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verses 20 onwards, it says very clearly that there was wisdom very active in creation. 
This is my favorite uh, passage. Again, in Colossians also you find this. Jesus existed before the creation. And it says, I was born before the mountains, before God set the foundations. God created everything, created dust, even the dust. He was before the dust. That means God is the one who created the whole creation with Jesus or with his son. And in Genesis chapter 1, you come across where the Holy Spirit was also operating on the chaotic conditions. But God put everything in order. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, so God's wisdom was there from the beginning. God used wisdom, mind and intelligence. This is the truth. Anything today in this world and also in the different planets in the cosmic world, everything is explorable. Everything is under discovery. People discover great things. And we have not reached a full discovery of everything. We have hardly touched one or two particles in the whole thing. Therefore, God's creation is amazing. And this requires a great wisdom. And therefore, Solomon in his Proverbs writes very clearly that there existed an intelligent being, a wisdom, and great creator of this world and great sustainer of this world. And today, what we live is just one particle of the whole creation. So, it is the pro-creation God always renewed things. I always remember each wave we pass. When we are put under lockdown situation, environment becomes clean, pollution rate comes down, oxygen rate goes up. Maybe that's one of the reasons why people uh, will breathe properly. Not in our hospitals, outside in the environment, we have better oxygen facilities than in the hospitals. You don't need oxygen cylinders there. People died to breathe. And similar way, socially, and in a discriminatory world, people like Floyd in US, they were killed. They were made to die because they were so festy. I mean, they were strangled and they were killed forcefully. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we create a world which has no oxygen, which has no life. Whereas God always creates a world with his wisdom to sustain life. Therefore, in the process, we have become anti-life. Human become anti-life. Whereas God is always pro-life. Because he created life. The great intelligence, the wisdom, created the world and created every living beings in this world. Therefore, God is always protector of the creation. And this intelligence, his wisdom in creation continues even when it is in the deep trouble and he renews it. Secondly, if you read the second passages, which is from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 1 to 8. A new earth, a new sky is created. A new earth and new sky is created. Because what God created with the company of his son Jesus Christ in Proverbs chapter 8, this world is corrupted. This world is full of sinful activity. Therefore, he tried to demolish the first layer of sin during the time of Noah. He protected the species which is going to take over the earth. 
but the earth was under the influence of sin influence of satan therefore god finally want to transform this old world into a new world it is not a kind of changing the surface of the world but it is totally bringing new earth and new uh, new heavens therefore it is no more a renovation it is no more a repair it is no more a cosmetic treatment given to your buildings and uh, your infrastructures no it is not god creates everything new he renews everything and he brings new order to the whole world and therefore everything comes into an order where it says the sea vanishes no more sea as i told earlier sea has greater currents greater power under under water similarly this sea was dangerous according to the genesis because there was no order god put everything in order earth was separated otherwise it was muddy like situation earth and water together you cannot have a proper living place therefore god separates earth and waters and skies and the earth and therefore the ocean life is different the life on the earth is totally different so he created everything he put oxygen everywhere under the sea you have oxygen over the sea and we destroyed it and waves are also part of this great creation the current on the sea the waves over the over the land was also his creation therefore he goes for a new jerusalem a new social order new economic order new spiritual order where jerusalem becomes a new center for people on earth those who realize what is god and who is this creator so they will be protected through the capital god's kingdom called jerusalem the new jerusalem is also part of new creation dear brothers and sisters in christ today jerusalem in trouble ceasefire has been given and people in jerusalem particularly in the places called nablus and other streets in jerusalem where you have half population of israel and also the palestinians there takes this struggle and gaza is another place where the war became very serious and thereby now peace exists with all the losses of the, the people and the buildings the new jerusalem is a wanted plan of god god wants a new jerusalem he doesn't want people to fight ceasefire is only temporary but god brings a new ceasefire to this world and to the new jerusalem where there is no war therefore revelation also gives a new order where there is no pain where there is no suffering where there is no tears where there is no death where there is no disease and today everything is experienced here globally we have experienced death tears loss destruction and pesticides and so many other problems dear brothers and sisters in christ this is not god wanted in his creation god wanted everything a new everything good because it is the creation through his son also so son was also part of this creation therefore son wanted people to be rescued people to be saved he came to take our sins upon him therefore god wanted through his son his creation to be restored to be saved therefore in the new heavens new earth and new jerusalem these things will wipe they will their tears will be wiped out and there there is no sorrow there is no pain sickness and then there is no guilt or death god makes everything new you become a new creator 
you become a new creature. Every human person becomes child of God. If someone is there in Jesus, he is a new creation. Some city is there in Jesus, it is a new city. It becomes Jerusalem. If this earth, this globe, this world is in Jesus or in God, it becomes new. Therefore, this promise is fulfilled in the revelation. And uh, there are categories mentioned. Who thirst? They will get the water. There is a difference between wild waters and the gushing waters or the waters of life. During the time of 40 years, Moses was taking people from Egypt to promised land. It's a desert. There was no water. I don't think water that was struck by Moses was just a small stream. It was like a river. It was a gushing water. It came out so forcefully. From the depth of desert, how can you expect a river? Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God brought great waters from the desert because he is a God. He orders everything. And similar way, Jesus ordered everything for new, 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 new renewal. We are renewed in him. And therefore, whoever thirsts, they will get the water of life. And who will inherit the blessing? It is those who believe in God's blessing, those who believe in God's creation, those who believe in God's wisdom, they will be blessed according to chapter 21 of Revelation. And those who compromise and those who spiritually are not ready to fight in this world the evils, they are not added in this new creation. The unbelieving people, the manual people, offenders of God, they will not have part in the new creation. Those who were part of murdering people, killing anti-life and sexually immoral engagements and also sorcerers, idolaters and those who mong wars and they will be put to death. God is very harsh on such people. Those who follow anti-life principles, those who follow death, the principles of evil, then they were put to death. Finally, Luke chapter 8, so 22 onward, up to one, 20 onwards, here is our master, master of the creation. He's a Lord who existed before things were created, before dust came into existence, before water came into existence, before skies came into existence, before moon and stars came into existence, where before the cosmos was created. And the mountains, valleys, and everything was created. And here is the same God who is there now telling his people, his disciples to cross the sea and go to other side of the world. Dear brothers and sisters, very symbolic today. We are just passing through valley of deaths and this sea is before us and this sea, the, this water body is contaminated. The waves are very strong. We are into the third wave. We don't know what is going to happen. But God has already put us safe journey on two waves, which always hit us very strongly. The death came, the mourning came, the disease came. And many people lost their life, lost their properties. And still we exist with God. And Jesus is telling, we'll go to the other side of the lake, other side of the water. So they travel. And Jesus took rest. And at that time, the created beings, the created waters and the waves, 
he started troubling people dear brothers and sisters in christ this is what we are in if jesus is not with us our boats will be destroyed our life will be destroyed waves are so strong and here is a lord master who listens to the cry of his disciples and says okay he orders he commands the water and the roaring sea to stop so today the forces are roaring against us the destruction the death disease infections and chaotic condition is still exists because of our problem because of our sin we have not treated creation properly we have not treated god's blessings properly go for my dear brothers and sisters in christ this is how we are today and jesus he comes down the ocean the seas and the waters which are wild so let us understand this great god not only a creator he is also a controller of things he not only he created for the blessing of humanity here he is also he is recreating a new order to sustain our life not to this just world but also to the future world and this is the promise of god let us believe his wisdom let us go with his wisdom and let us be part of his creation which is for the rescue of the human kind and is also part of an eternal blessing which you are going to be with the lord eternally may god bless us in this understanding of wisdom let us pray god our heavenly father we thank and praise thee for the wonderful way you created this world the disorder and chaos we created lord at this hour of prayer we confess that we never treated your wisdom we never treated your creation according to your greatness you are the great lord you have ignored your greatness you have ignored your miraculous power to heal and save people from all death disease mourning and and you or the lord always promising us to remove our tears remove the death from its existence at this hour of prayer lord we commit our whole life into your mighty hand bless us and keep us in your glory in your wisdom and in your saving grace we ask everything in the precious name of our lord and savior who created this world and sustain this forever in jesus name we pray Let us affirm our faith in Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into the heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sin. the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen friends i once again draw your attention to the scan and pay facilities if you have any areas please uh, pay through the scan and pay we request church members to pray especially for church members and others who are tested covid positive some are in home quarantine and some are in hospitals there is also decrease in the numbers but we have to be very careful in the future also it is not the time to uh, break the covid rules therefore i request members to take care of their day to day uh, instructions and i also Uh, request you to please kindly contact if you want to give any help to some of our uh, members or any members uh, those who are suffering from uh, covid um, problems i request members who want to prayerfully 
help and support financially to these kind of victims, you please contact me so that we can organize a proper channel of distributing your contribution to the, vi the victims of COVID in our church as well as for others. Let us say Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those trespasses against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Then the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The glory of God, let us sing the hymn, O, my, o Lord my God, when I am of sun, wonder. <laughs> Father, once again we come to your throne of grace with deep gratitude and thanks. Lord, you are the creator, you are the intelligent and the God of wisdom and God of source at this hour of prayer. Lord, we commit our lives into your mighty hand, especially remembering those who are suffering, the death, the disease and also the loss of their relations. At this hour of prayer, Lord, you stretch your healing hand upon them. 
and calm down the waves which affect the people, the disease, the death, and the loss. It is our prayer, Lord. You are the Lord who will be with us, Emmanuel God, taking care of our day-to-day -day life and day-to-day -day life unto the eternity. Once again, Lord, we commit those who are celebrating their birthdays, those who are celebrating their family anniversaries. Bless them abundantly. Spiritually, give them strength so that to sustain this world of perils and dangers. Once again, Lord, we commit all of us into your mighty hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God and fellowship of Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.